I want to start out by apologizing for not having week seven module up. It will be up this afternoon. I've been working on it. Um, the good news is that I knew a lot of you were still submitting papers. And so I didn't plan for us to do a lot this week. I wanted to take some time on Therese Tony and exploring how academic writing is different than the personal essays, but also how the academic writing that you'll see here at the university is different from what you did in high school. Um, because I'm guessing that there are some common elements in Teresa Tony's research paper um, compared to what you did in high school, but there are some significant differences. <clears throat> and I want to take some time to think about that as you're transitioning, as our class is transitioning into academic writing and what that looks like as you move forward. Um, I also want to take a little bit of time to figure out um, what the title of our book will be. As far as this week goes, you will have a discussion board based on a video that is approximately one hour long. And the video explores what it means to be American from a different perspective than often did. And it's a perspective that I wanna think about as we get into our research about what it is to be American or what is America? Because those are the questions, those are the essential questions that we're asking right now. And um, you'll do research and you'll put forth an argument um, that's not like a Teresa Tony argument, but it will be more academic than a personal essay. And it will be based on research and analysis. But here, let me pull up a couple of polls. And this one concerns the title. And these are the titles that you all came up with in your groups. And I'm gonna ask you to vote on the title that you like best, that you think will be most appealing to our primary audience. And you'll notice the last one on here is another title. That's not the title, and I don't have another title, but if you say, yeah, I'm not a fan of any of these titles, let's come up with another one, you can vote for that one. And so, Go ahead and choose. Um, you can't, let me make it, does that work now? Um, whoever said you couldn't see the titles, um, just say, um, like, unmute yourself. Um, it's me. I can't see the the polls. Um, it's It's letting me see the first eight, and then I see another one. But well, I don't see the words, I just the see first the first one. All you need is the first oh. one. Oh. Yeah, there's a second poll, but I'm most concerned no, about I'm the saying, first one. I'm saying the first eight titles. There are only eight titles. Oh, then what's at the bottom? Okay, my computer's that's, just messed up. That's Sorry about that. That's a different poll. It's about organization. You might be able to scroll down though. Yeah, something's wrong with my mouse. So I thought I was seeing it wrong. Sorry about that. Oh, no worries. Polling, this is only the second time I've done polling. And so, um, yeah. <laughs> so I don't know what your screens all look like. Okay, well, now that I've chosen it, it won't let me submit it. So I guess there is more than I'll just um, back out of this one because my computer's messing up. Okay. Who is speaking right now? I can't, I wasn't able to see you. Faith, this is Faith. Faith, which title did you want to vote for? Um, out of the, the ones I'm seeing, American Values in the Eyes of Aztecs is my okay. favorite. All okay. right. We'll just consider that there's a fourth one in there. 
Um, you should be able to scroll down and see how to organize also. And I see 11, 19, 23 of you have voted for that one. And there's a couple more people who can vote for titles. Um, I can't see anything either. I don't know why that is. Hmm. Who was that? Rebecca, you can't see anything? Yeah, that's me. I can't see anything. Okay. I think most people can because we have 23 of 26 people. I'm assuming Alyssa has not voted. And that means 23 out of 25 have voted. Um, Rebecca, you aren't able to vote. Was there a title? You can't see any of the titles. No, I can't see a single title. So I'm a bit confused. Okay. Yeah, I, I don't know, because I know it's visible to most people because people have voted. I actually mm -hmm. liked all of these titles, but 15 out of, um, 15 out of, 26 people voted for This Is Us, A Journey Inside the Aztec Mind. And so that is the type, that is where we'll go. And um, how to organize. Um, this one is, um, this one is torn between organized by Alphen's values and then organized by prominent values. And let me just end the polling. So you can see This Is Us is the title of our book, um, Inside the Aztec Minds, and then How to Organize um, will be by values. And um, so we'll have to choose those categories as we can. Rebecca, I'm really sorry. And um, Faith, I'm really sorry that you weren't able to um, see that. Um, it oh, might it's be, okay. It might be That's something okay. I'm doing or it might be something with your screen. So no, it's my... I'm never able to like, if the poll is more than one or two options or if there's like more than one, I'm never able to vote on them. It's, it's my computer. Ah, that's gotta be frustrating. I would hate that. Um, we all like to vote, which is- Yeah, it's annoying, but usually it's like nothing is for grade, so it's okay. All right, we won't worry about the grade right now. Um, let me pull up the PowerPoint. Um, Hey, Aaron. I'll keep track of that. Yeah, Alyssa? Sorry, I don't know if you saw the chat, but Erica was asking if she could make an argument for the organization method that she, um, that she chose or if that's already decided based on the votes. Well, there were two different types of organization and I wish I'd done that before we voted. Um, yeah, Erica, talk to us. Okay, so something that when we were originally coming up with, me and my group were kind of talking about, is a lot of people had the idea to organize it by Alphans values or just values in general, um, which I agree seems like the most kind of like in your face option. But something that we were talking about is, I feel like if we organize it by values, then our stories may get a little lost or not have as much meaning. Cause I think it would engage an audience a lot more to kind of like mix up the values rather than read like, 10 stories about equality and then five stories about competition and you know I feel like our stories might register a lot more with the audience if it was mixed up and not just like okay we'll not have to read an entire block about this value and where the person like the personal part of our stories may not matter as much if it's just blocked off by values that was just my opinion something that the group was talking about that's an interesting idea, Erica. Um, somebody else's thoughts on this? I was in Erica's group, so I don't know if my 
thoughts um, really uh, contribute as much, but I agree. And I also, an idea I had is I saw where we were putting our bios in and some people put in their bios like why they wrote about um, what they wrote about. And so I was thinking if we did it like by last name, like someone would be able to like find you because they read your bio and they could like alphabetically like look for you and like read your story because of it. But that's also just an idea. So let me um, stop share and go back to the class. Um, let's go back to the poll. Um, we're still doing This Is Us, um, which was an interesting idea. And what I'm doing is I'm only showing you the how to organize. Um, actually these, let me close that out and let me see if I can add a new, I can't add a new poll right here, right now. Um, actually I can, let's, um, organization. So let's random by author last name or by values. I also wanted to add something real fast that came to mind. Yeah. Um, after Erica and Faith's point points. Um, I know that when I was reading some of your guys' essays, um, sometimes the value wasn't, you know, something almost you had to read to find out, which I thought was kind of cool. Like you didn't know that it was going to be that value. So I kind of do actually also like the idea of by doing it by author or some other way, um, because then it keeps the reader guessing like what value you're going to start talking about. But that's just okay. a random thought. Another thought I have is I enjoyed reading, um, like, because sometimes I'd read in order and I'd read one that says, let's have the value of um, rest or um, the value of, you know, like taking time off. And then I'd read the value of, you know, like making the most of every time. And I liked those conflicting ideas also you know, like pairing them so that we get different perspectives on the same value. Um, I, I like all these ideas. Um, so let's, let's um, now that we've had this conversation, let's talk about, let's vote again. Uh, Rebecca, now there's only three possibilities. Can you see them all? Yeah, I started to see them, <laughs> finally. <laughs> Rebecca and Rujine, if we do it by author last name, you, the two of you are always last. Is that okay? Um, I voted for by value. Okay. Regine, thoughts? Yeah, I was thinking about that too, so I decided to vote by value. Aha. Uh -huh. There's a certain, there's this weird sense of privilege when you have a name that comes at the beginning. Um, it's, uh, it's odd. Okay, so we've got 25, 26, that's everybody. Um, it's switched to author last name and um, Faith and um, we could go author last name reverse alphabetical order too. We'll talk about that another day, um, share results. This is what we got. And let's talk about Teresa Tony because we can. 
So let me um, pull up that slide deck. We're not gonna be on here super long. Um, and I do want to um, pull up the chat if I can. Okay, so I'm sending you the slide deck because you'll be working in groups and um, each of you will have a slide. The groups will not be the same groups as we've had. Um, you'll be with new people in some ways. Um, some of you will be end up with the same people. Um, remember that your paper and your reflection are due on Wednesday. And once we've got all the papers in, we'll start populating the um, Kindle template and organizing, okay? Well, let's talk about Teresa Tony. What characteristics made Tony's article challenging to read? Anybody? It wasn't written for us, so it wasn't really engaging. It's not engaging to anybody, Erica even the people who, who it is written for. Um, and I'm interested in this topic, but not engaging. Um, but you're right, when it's you're not the audience, even the topic is less relevant for you. Um, other things that made it challenging to read. Ariana, what made this challenging to read? I think the writing style definitely made it a little bit more challenging compared to the other material we've read this semester, just because I felt like the writing was more formal compared to the personal essays we had to read. And even, um, what is the author's name? The first piece that you signed us to read, the 10, the 10, I forget the title, but that even that piece, I just felt was more easy to process the information than this one. Yeah. Other challenges, um, Chris? Um, wasn't very like, I mean, kind of like what Erica was saying, it wasn't very engaging, there was no like, I don't know. It was very obviously like a scientific paper sort of set up in a way. It, totally, it is. And this is, this setup is the academic research genre. And good news, bad news, probably bad news. You're going to be reading a lot of these, um, not just in this class, but in your other classes. You're going to be reading papers like this. And so I always make a point in my 200 level classes to introduce this type of writing um, in a way that the author identifies all the strange things, the six conventions that you're likely to encounter and to discuss the organization and to, you know, like just to help you um, wrap your head around these. And you will be doing research with this type of writing um, as well in the future. And so in this class and in your other classes. So let's take a few minutes. I sent you the slide deck. It's set to allow you to, um, in your groups, to be able to populate a slide. So make note of which slide you're using or which group you're in. And I want you to think about um, how is this similar to what you wrote or the way you wrote in high school? And how is this different than what you wrote and the way you wrote in high school? Be as specific as you can. Um, and then think about what things um, Teresa Tony does in the text 
to help you navigate this text? Um, how does she keep you focused? Okay. So you'll have a slide. You've got the slide deck. I'm going to break you up into breakout rooms and um, eight different breakout rooms. Okay. Um, you'll have about um, five minutes to come up with as many things as you possibly can and um, choose, make sure you choose a spokesperson for your group because I'll call on groups. Okay.